What's going on everybody? This is Sid the Nerdy Mark here and do you know what happens when there are 10 comic book characters that need their own video games? You want to know what happens? You just made the list! <laughs> Welcome back to the list of Nerdy Mark, the show on my channel where I talk about things that I want to see in the world of comic books, video games, pro wrestling, and anime in list format. Today's list, top 10 comic book characters that need their own video game. Number one. Darth Maul. Now I know what you're thinking. Darth Maul isn't a comic book character. He's a Star Wars character. Well, sir, I have to tell you that Marvel Comics has been publishing Star Wars for the past couple of years now. And as a matter of fact, Darth Maul has his own series in the comic book universe. So on a technicality, Maul is a comic book character. In 2014, Red Fly Studios uh, had an interview with Game Informer where they had mentioned that there was a plan for a Darth Maul solo game. And that would have been really cool because they showed some test footage of it and it looked like a much more brutal version of Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Quite frankly, I would have loved to see that and I would have loved to honestly play that because Darth Maul is probably my favorite Sith Lord in all of Star Wars. He was probably the best thing about The Phantom Menace. I would like to see something like that. I would honestly love to see Red Fly finish this game and put it out there. Like I said, make it a more brutal, more bloody version of The Force Unleashed. Honestly, even making Darth Maul tap into his hate, tap into that that rage that he feels and maybe somehow show that on the screen. So that would be pretty cool. Just some ideas that I would like for a Darth Maul video game. Number two, Superman. The only solo venture that the Man of Steel has ever had in the world of gaming is Superman 64 for the Nintendo 64. And quite frankly, it wasn't that good. Clunky controls, a boring story, and quite frankly, the worst gameplay I have ever seen in my entire life. Superman 64 is an absolute disaster. However, he has had some resurgence in the gaming world thanks to Injustice 1 and 2, along with the comic books surrounding this gaming series. However, we are yet to see a very good solo game for Superman. And I think someone like NetherRealms or Rocksteady, who really do understand the DC comics and the characters, would be perfect. I think they would put out a really good storyline and we would have some really good action as well. And quite frankly, it would definitely wash the taste of Superman 64 out of many gamers' mouths. Number three, The Punisher. After John Bernthal's brilliant performance as Frank Castle in the Marvel Netflix universe, The Punisher has become one of my favorite Marvel characters, if not my overall favorite character. The Punisher has had his presence made in games. In 2002, he had a game for the PlayStation 2, but that was based more around the Thomas Jane movie that came out in 2004, which in my opinion also wasn't that bad. He's also made appearances in the Marvel vs. Capcom series as well. Since the Netflix series, uh, there's been a lot more depth to his character and also a lot more interest in the character. I would love to see a game in the vein of Max Payne or even something like a Devil May Cry or anything else like that. So that would be pretty cool. Or even Metal Gear. I have a little bit of espionage and of course have the run and gun stuff as well. So everything that Punisher is good at, you know, I would even love to see some sniping levels. That would be pretty interesting. Number four, Spike Spiegel. Even though Spike could potentially appear in the Jump Force video game coming later next year, I feel that there are a lot of characters already in Jump Force that Spike could easily get lost in the shuffle. However, I think Spike does have a deep enough storyline and has a, is a deep enough character to have his own video game. If you have not watched Cowboy Bebop, the anime, I suggest you go check it out because it is a brilliant masterpiece by Shinichiro Watanabe. And if you want me to do a review for it, let me know in the comments below. I wanna see an open world game for Spike Spiegel, kind of in the similar vein as Grand Theft Auto, maybe kind of like Grand Theft Auto in space, but not exactly like that, if you know what I'm saying. With a mixture of Grand Theft Auto and a little bit of Borderlands too, that would be pretty interesting, with obviously the occasional space battle, so I would be interested in seeing that. I also wanna be able to cycle between certain characters, like Spike, Jet, Faye, and even Edward. Number five, Cable. Simply put, his buddy Deadpool has a video game, 
so Cable deserves one too. After Deadpool 2, a lot of interest has been uh, circulating around Cable, even though the actor Josh Brolin has played Thanos as well. He has a pretty interesting storyline and surprisingly a very deep one, and he is basically the polar opposite of Deadpool. So you wouldn't get that crazy action that the Deadpool game had. However, I think since he does have this triumph travel on his side, I would be interested to see how they incorporate that into the video game. I want a game that really explores his origins and shows how he became this time travel mercenary. Number six, The Joker. Now, Todd Phillips has been releasing a lot of pictures and videos featuring Joaquin Phoenix as the character for the Joker solo film, and I have to say, it looks amazing and I can't wait. However, we have not really gotten a game where the Joker is front and center. And I think that because of the Arkham games and even the Injustice franchise, a lot of interest has circulated around the Joker. And since he's been around for years, everybody really loves the Clown Prince of Crime. So I think a game with him taking center stage would be amazing. I wanna know how did he rise to power? How did he become Batman's most formidable foe. It shouldn't be a completely an origin story because you know the more ambiguous you keep the Joker, the more interesting he is. However, I would love for Telltale to develop this game. I think a visual novel, which is also interactive, would be just exactly what the Joker needs to tell his story. Number seven, Wolverine. Arguably the most popular member of the X-Men, Wolverine has found a lot of success in the film world with the X-Men franchise, as well as the Wolverine spin-off films, as well as Loki. He has been a very well-established character amongst pop culture. So it really surprised me when they have never made a Wolverine solo video game. Maybe they have, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below. But I know that he has featured in the X-Men games as well as in Marvel vs. Capcom as well, just like the aforementioned Punisher, but he does not have a solo escapade. I would like for this to be also kind of an action adventure type of game. I want lightning fast combat, kind of like the Arkham combat system because that is amazing. And I would love for this to be developed in CryEngine 5 because the environments need to look beautiful and lush. He was in the military and he is, uh, you know, going around in the jungles and whatnot. So obviously Wolverine needs a good environment to be around. But also let the game focus on Wolverine and a solo escapade of his. It doesn't have to be an origin story, just another storyline that you can adapt from the comic books and bring it in to a more interactive experience. Number eight, Lobo. One of the most underrated characters in the DC universe, Lobo is also one of the most powerful and quite frankly, one of the most badass. I feel that he really should get a video game because he hasn't had anything except for being DLC in the first Injustice game. I feel that he deserves a lot more than this. I wanna see a good old fashioned hack and slash video game. I would love for the developers to take inspiration from games like Devil May Cry, God of War, and Doom to create an amazing chaotic experience. Number 9, Red Hood. Much like Lobo, the Red Hood also doesn't have much of a presence in the gaming world. And this surprises me because he is one of the most interesting characters in the entire Batman mythos and my personal favorite Robin. So I guess maybe there's a little bit of, I guess, nepotism in there, even though he's not my family. I know he has had, he has been in DLC. He's the DLC character in Injustice 2, as well as having his own little episode in for the Arkham Knight, which is also a DLC. And both were amazing. I'm surprised that he does not have a video game of his own. I would love to see a game where we use Rocksteady's combat system that was so prevalent and made the Arkham series so, so popular. However, I don't want this game to be associated at all with the Arkham series. It should be its own thing. Let them do whatever they want with the Red Hood. Honestly, if he even wants to form Red Hood and the Outlaws towards the end of the game, that will be fine with me too. And number 10, Deathstroke. My personal favorite character in the entire DC universe, Deathstroke is one of the most badass characters in all of comic books. Obviously, the fact that he doesn't have a game is a little bit disappointing to me. I know that he was in the first Injustice game and he was amazing and he was very fun to play with. I feel that he needs his own little escapade because his story is also very interesting. I want an action RPG that details the entire origin story of Slade Wilson and how he became 
from Slade Wilson to becoming Deathstroke the Terminator. But obviously don't call it Deathstroke the Terminator, just call it Deathstroke. And also I would love to be able to have character customization in this game. Be Maybe be able to customize his outfit a little bit, get some new gear, improve his combat skills, improve his weapons, get new weapons, all that jazz. And also a sniping mission here and there wouldn't hurt either. So that pretty much concludes my list of the top 10 comic book characters that need their own video game. Let me know what you guys think and who you think needs a video game in the comment section below. Also, be sure to let me know what other lists you would like to see on this channel. I will take requests and if I like it enough, I'll do it. But until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on social media and tell your friends about the Nerdy Mark. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. And until next time, this is Sid signing off. You guys take care. Bye-bye.